And now we are learning new details, grisly details, about the dismembered and burned body stuffed in a shopping cart in Yonkers yesterday. Police say they have located the victim's hands and arms at an apartment in Longwood, and the body was allegedly transported on Metro North. Marcus Solis is live on the scene with new details. Marcus? <laughs> And Sade, to the level of investigation, not only is there this crime scene unit uh, parked in front of the building, there is a second one just a bit up the block as investigators work to try and find out more about the victim and, of course, who committed this grisly crime. Crime scene detectives were back at Rogers Place today as the collection of evidence in the Grizzly case continues. Human remains were found in apartment 46, specifically the hands and legs of a murder victim. The rest of the dismembered body was dumped in Yonkers and set on fire. Very sinister and methodical. Sinister and methodical. That's it's sad. Not to mention gruesome. Police say the body was transported from Longwood to Westchester on a Metro North train. The victim stuffed and hidden in a folding shopping cart. That cart set on fire at the Oak Street Bridge on the Yonkers Mount Vernon border. The NYPD took over the investigation after discovering the killing occurred in the Bronx. It's crazy to hear the details every time. It's, it's, it's a shock, but I'm just not really moved because I'm used to living around the craziness. Sources say the victim's legs were in bags in the freezer, the hands in a crock pot filled with bleach. In addition, police say drug paraphernalia and a gun were found in the kitchen of the apartment. The building is located on 163rd Street in a tourist destination of sorts. Busloads of travelers coming to see a mural in memory of rapper Big Pun, many of them stopping for a bite at Christian Pena's Deli. New York, man. That's, it. that's, that's what it's turning in right now. It's basically like you don't know, you don't know what the day is going to bring you. Well, no arrest in this case as the investigation continues. An autopsy scheduled as uh, they try and determine the exact cause of death. And we're live in the Longwood section of the Bronx. Marcus Solis, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.